Hi, this is Christine of Spring Creek Bathworks, and today I am restocking my Lemongrass Essential Oil Cold Process Soap. And this first video is going to be me making the soap with room temperature oils. And I have the solid oils here and the liquid oils here, and I have my hot lye water. I broke my tripod trying to get ready for this, so I'm improvising. Um, so I'm sorry. Uh, okay, the air temperature in here is 75 degrees. I have the air conditioning on because I live in Houston. The humidity in here is 50%. The oils measured at 71 degrees and the live water I let um, until it's clear. I put that, uh, I tested that at 165. And so the first thing I do, which I normally do on a flat surface, but I'm tilting it for you is I am slowly pouring the lye water, which also has Tessa Silk in it, on top of the solid oils. I've cut up my mango butter into little pieces. This is lard, coconut oil, and mango butter. And the first thing that I'll do is I'm going to hand stir this. You can see that there are a lot of solid oils here. Let me add it up in my head for a minute. Um, it has 72% hard, wait, let me add it. Uh, it's got 70, oh, I can't add right now. And now the phone's ringing, so just forget it. It has a lot of solid oils because of the lard. So this is a slow, kind of not, you're not in a rush process, where basically the temperature of the live water is melting it. And just in case you're curious, we'll check the temperature. This is a stainless steel probe. This is a food thermometer and it's a Polder brand digital food thermometer. We use the thermometer part for cooking and I bought an extra probe for 10 bucks and I use it for soaping only. Even though it's stainless steel and it would be safe, I just soak with this. And um, right now, this is measuring, oh, it's still going up. at 109, just to give you an idea. Put that to the side. So I hand stir this and it will totally melt or almost, what it will do is, if it really slows down and gets to 95 and won't go anymore, then I'll stick blend it. I use full water on this recipe because I'm going to do some swirling. And the last time I made this, I did 32% water, which I really love for unmolding. But it um, went to pudding by the time I was going to do the swirling, and I ended up just sticking a spoon in it and um, kind of scooping it around. It turned out okay. I'll show you. I have one right here. Actually, let me get a paper towel. Just in case anything's on my hands. This is the last um, lemongrass essential oil soap. Can you see that? That I did. This was six different colors of mica and I was going to try and do a really cool hanger swirl. And like I said, it went to pudding. This is my lemongrass that I make with an auto seed that's infused and it's all natural. And this is when I was trying to do only herb and spice colorants, but um, so, you know, some people will buy it just for the scent, but I did a show last week and side by side, they smell the same. It's the same uh, lemongrass essential oil. And everybody 
bought these and left me with only two, so I decided to make some more pretty ones. This seems so much longer when you know you're making a video, because I know that people think this is boring and maybe you would like to have it uh, edited. Check the temperature. It's at a hundred and... Still at 109, I'm kind of surprised. I do it this way because I, I like to be lazy, what can I say? I don't like it when I overheat the mango butter or shea butter in the microwave and it gets grainy. So I like to just heat it gently and this is, you know, it's easier than, than microwaving or doing stove top melting of uh, lard and coconut oil and the mango butter. You can see that it's um, got chunks in it. My goggles are steaming up. That's wonderful. <clears throat> I'm going to do a separate video of the swirl. You know, it's funny, you think you have everything ready, and I I've spent so much time trying to get the video recording things ready that I just realized that my hanger for the swirl is in the other room. So I'll have to work on that after this video stops. I'll go get it. It's almost totally melted and I'm feeling very impatient. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the soft oils. So every here's what's in here. Um, lard, olive oil, coconut oil, 76 degree. Grapeseed oil, avocado oil, castor oil, mango seed butter, Tessa silk, and distilled water, and the lye, of course. I'm going to put this here for a second. All right, so you can see that it's not completely dissolved. I'm being totally impatient because this is on video. So. I will stick blend. Burp it. Oh shoot, I think I can tilt this safely for you. I hope you can see it. On uh, low. I'll hit it once on high. And the lemongrass essential oil. Pour that in. Just hand stirring this. It's at emulsion stage right now. I'm going to hit it one more time with the stick blender just to make sure that the essential oils are fully incorporated. that. I'll tilt it. This is 78 ounces of batch. Okay, I'm going to stop there so that I can mix my colorants and work on the swirling.